All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, or Kakadash. I want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. I want to say peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. And today I want to go into the book of Psalms, chapter 130. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and straight to the point. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 130. A song of decrees. Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I await for I wait for the Lord, my soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say, more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Yes. The Lord is going to redeem Israel of our iniquities, but starting with the elect. Because during this time that we're in, only the elect will be delivered. The two thirds of Israel will be destroyed and have to come back in the kingdom. But pretty much what this particular book is going into is mercy. Because, you know, that's what we're going to need in this time. Lord willing, the Lord has mercy on all the sincere brothers and sisters, starting with the apostles and elders all the way down, you know, to the believers. Lord willing, he has mercy on all of us because we're gonna need it, especially coming into the time of Jacob's trouble, which we're still approaching. And the Lord is to be feared. That's one of the main commandments is to fear the Lord. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, or Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. I'd like to say peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. To the next time, Shalom.